Ebola. Shout out to Hoop Journey. Yo, what is going on guys? Julian from Hoop Journey. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel tonight. Lonzo Ball, as you can see right there, making his return to the Lakers lineup. Missing the last couple of games. The Lakers came into this game on a seven-game losing streak of getting blown out by the OKC Thunder who are heating up. But Lonzo Ball in his comeback game dropped 11 points, 5 assists, 4 rebounds, and he got 2 steals. Shot 4 for 8, 50%, not too bad. 3 for 7 from downtown, 42%. So he had a pretty good game. He played 27 minutes, but right here going to already push the ball up. The court find his man Brandon Ingram for the dunk. Brandon Ingram finished off with 22 points, 14 rebounds, and Lonzo with the dunk of the night right there. Nice little crossover on Kemba Walker in between the legs, and boom, there goes a huge slam from Lonzo. He is hyped. Another look at that. He is hyped. He is loving that, and so is all of LA. 22-18, Ingram driving again, and the Hornets had four straight games in California. They're coming off a win against Sacramento. They beat the Warriors, and they beat the Clippers. Looking to sweep all of California with a win in Staples Center tonight. Nice pass right there. Clarkson to Brandon Ingram. Jordan Clarkson is money off the bench. He only had 7 points tonight. 3 for 10 shooting. Pretty bad night for him. Brooke Lopez, his second game back. Finished off with 11 points. Hit a couple threes. Kuzma with another slow night. 2 for 14 shooting. Very bad night. But Lonzo knocking down his first three back at Staples Center. Kuzma only had 4 points. Moving on into Charlotte, Kemba Walker, 19 points, 7 assists, 4 steals. Very nice game from him in D12. Dwight Howard returning to LA. Man, he got booed so much. He got booed every time he touched the ball. What a dunk right there from Jeremy Lamb, who's definitely going to be in the running for 6th man of the year or most improved player. Him and Ola Oladipo for most improved player. They're probably the top two players. Jeremy Land is having a career year. Nice pass right there. Ingram to Brooke Lopez in the corner. Ingram popping the three. It falls for him. Lakers down in the second quarter trying to make a comeback. But Kemba Walker not allowing that. And one. 29 seconds left. Kemba Walker going to attack again with under three seconds left. Floater to beat the buzzer. And it is good. Kemba Walker is good money. I think he personally has the best crossover in the league. Lonzo thought about the three, passes it out to Ingram, popping the jumper. He's uh, really improved on his mid-range game this season. Jeremy Lamb had 17 points and 25 minutes. Very nice for him. Kavinsky off the bench with 12 points. And then Michael Kidd Gilchrist with 13 points, 8 rebounds. And Malik Monk again, only played under 3 minutes, 2 minutes, 50 seconds. Same for Dwayne Bacon. Every time I talk about the Hornets, I always mention how they're not playing Malik Monk enough. I mean, Dwayne Bacon, okay, but Malik Monk needs to be playing a lot more. Even though they got the big win tonight, their head coach is out. So the assistant coach doing a very good job on this road trip. Michael Carter-Williams played 15 minutes, got 7 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 steals, and a block. Filling up the stat sheet. A rookie that really never fulfilled that Rookie of the Year award, which goes to show, you know, all rookies doesn't matter how good of the season they have. It all depends what's coming next. Even if they have a bad season, it's always on to the next one. Lonzo Ball, I did not show him the footage, but he hit back-to-back -back threes to open up the second half. Just thought I'd mention that there. So, really, his jumper is falling down a lot better. And a nice lob right there to Jeremy Lamb as the Hornets are just blowing the Lakers out. Back-to-back -back blowout games in L.A. The Lakers lose 108-94. Now on an eight-game losing streak, can they win against the Hawks on Sunday?